they have worn this jacket Cetro and you're welcome to Cetro Crafts channel. Yesterday I posted this my, uh, what's it called, double peplum princess court on Facebook and so many persons said, okay, just show an, us an explanation of how you did your courts, the cup cuts and the sleeve and the likes. So that's just what I want to do. It's so, so, so it's just a paper explanation. I, I think you've seen the uh, clips from the of, from the preceding uh, video, so it's just a paper explanation that I posted on Facebook. I just said, okay, I should do that to you, my subscribers. And I'm using this medium to say, please do like our videos. And if you've not started following us on Facebook, follow us on Facebook at Central Fashion School. So let's get started. So Princess Court, it's so easy, as easy as A and B and C. I'll be doing it the Facebook way today. So sorry. So <laughs> so. When you have your fabric unfold this way, as you have your fabric unfold, when you want to cut the princess cut, it's so easy. What you just do is you get your shoulder measurements. This is your shoulder measurement. You know what will determine the extent of your fold is the largest part of your fabric. Yes, the largest part of your measurement. So this shoulder, my shoulder is 15 that's seven and a half so the half inch is for same allowance so this is the shoulder measurement so from that shoulder point i'll get the nipple or breast point or bust point my nipple point is 10 inches this half inch you're seeing here is what is for same allowance so 10 and a half which for joining on the shoulders then the under burst ub is 14 inches then the waist I had a waist 18 here by the time i'm done with sewing the waist will actually get to 16 inches due to various cuts and the likes so getting this to get your princess cut it's so easy you just come and take what's the nipple to nipple as you can see me they call it a cross bust can you see it standing here this is what it's called bust point or a cross bust or nipple to nipple it's eight as you can see so the fabric is unfold. 8 divided by 2 is going to give you 4 inches. So you come to that shoulder to bust point. That's on this nipple line. You get your 4 inches this way. Have you seen it? Your 4 inches this way. So having gotten this 4 inches, you, you, you roll it down. You get that 4 inches across bust to your under bust position to your waist position. So you get the line across them. So you now come to your arm hole points the shoulder points you know you're going to cut your arm hole like my arm hole i use 18 or 17 at times so i'm going to cut on eight inches if you don't know how to cut the arm hole you can check my video on how to cut the arm hole perfectly so cutting the arm hole right now to cut on it i came to half of it that's four inches can you see four inches here four inches this four inches right now, I want to take two inches that here, such that it will give you this grippy shape as you're seeing here. Can you see it? So it makes it really come out well as the princess cut, making it come out very well. So I, you have noted it here, two inches. So by this, you've not actually, you just noted it on your fabric. So you, 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 you get a two inches that this way, two inches that. So with this two inches that, what are you going to do right now? You're not going to curve out. Do you understand? You're going to curve out. Then you curve. And mind you, I haven't gotten these two inches that. Can you see one thing? That this arm hole ought to be this way. Where's my marker? The arm hole actually ought to go this way. I don't want to spoil this my, what is it called? Can you see it? But I created... This one and a half inches allowance was created. Why? For the short call, short for when, you, when you're through with cutting the fabric. Because when you cut a fabric, it can never be the same way again. So this one and a half inches allowance has made for the short uh, fall in the fabric. By the time I'm through with cutting, you would have seen it from uh, the fabric cut that when it was actually cut, this place was now equal it was because this one and a half inches was added to it on the arm hole point so important so you now curve two inches can you see that two inches two inches this way you now take the curve down to the nipple points have you seen the nipple points so you now curve it down this way to the under bust position by going in by two inches again have you seen it you go in by two inches again 
you go in so that's what gave it this cup shape this real boss shape the two inches that on the arm hole position then you curve it down like a boss shape to the you curve it down to the under bust position you curve it that curve will go in by two inches this way as you can see so you've gone in by two inches then you come straight down to the waistline and you can see this notch you have to do this because if you do not notch this nipple point on both you might miss it while sewing so you notch it on the one part of the front panel and also on the cup part so you notch the underbursts on both sides such that when you're sewing they will be able to grip together so how will you now achieve your other body's measurement remember when you're sewing you join on the half length by half inch so you just place it this way your half inch joining on the half length position so you now take your normal body's measurements so you come to the bust you already know that this is the bust point what's your bust if your bust is 38 uh, divided by four that will be nine nine you now add four inches seam allowance you had four inches seam allowance adding the four inches seam allowance as taking cognizance of the two inches you've created for that you know you're going to cut out this you're going to cut out these two inches you're going to cut out these two inches so the two four inches has created allowance for these two inches cut out then one inch for your seam allowance and other one inch in case you need an extension so that's how it's the front panel it's been cut it's when you're done with sewing that you now cut out your desired neckline i just had a little front uh round neck then uh, a little uh you know i'm this kind of conservative person <laughs> so i just had a little v-neck at the back some persons make it so v so <laughs> so a little v-neck and a little round neck in the front panel so the <laughs> so sorry the back panel it's also very very easy just same way you get your shoulder measurements on foot remember i do right here you have to fold one inch for your this is the back panel remember you have to fold one inch for your zipper lines this is a paper assuming it's a fabric i'm sure you saw it on the fabric that the back panel was folded with paint for that's the you don't have to make that mistake you have to create that allowance for the zipper one inch zipper fold for the zipper lines so by the side so you now come here you achieved same thing the fabric is on fold you achieve your eight inches here you come to the nipple points send and a half you achieve your four inches so as to achieve your princess cut four inches then you take it down to the waist point to the under breast and the waist you know there is no burst at the back so the, the the little difference is just that and you also achieve your extension of one and a half inches then you now come here the difference is that there is no bust at the back so you just create half inch or quarter inch allowance you've already gotten your cut here to so the ham hole you 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 cut it you're not making any two inches extension please because it's not going to be you're not making any two inches uh that allowance you just make an extension of one and a half so you now do what you do your half or quarter inch uh cut uh cut this way you can see there's just a little allowance here so for your back so that's how the back will seem out well this way do you understand so and so many other persons on facebook actually asked for how i got the balloon slip the balloon sleeve is so easy if you don't know how to achieve the basic sleeve you can also watch my video i have a video to that effect on how to achieve the basic basic sleeve please so once you've achieved your basic sleeve up to this point let me say in haul you want to achieve 16 inches or 17 inches sleeve or 18 inches so you already see that the basic sleeve is 10 inches that means 10 18 minus 10 will give us 8. You have 8 to be the remaining parts that you want to use for the balloon. So what do you do? You just have a fabric this way. So please don't mind my illustration. You have a fabric this way. The width will be so long. The width depends on how bogus you want the balloon to be. My fabric wasn't enough. That's why I achieved a little balloon this way. So the, the width depends on how bogus you want it to be. So if you want it to be real bogus, you have enough width. But the depth depends on the length of your sleeve so if you're achieving 18 inches of uh, sleeve and you've got in 10 year the length will be eight and a half or nine so that when you join on half 
inch here you fold a half inch you get your eight inches remaining so when you have it you now do what you do gathers on both edges you gather both edges real gathers real gathers as you can see this this fabric is really showing the gathers you do the gathers on both edges so you now affix it to the sleeve this way you affix it to the sleeve you affix it to the sleeve this way after you've gathered it on the measurements of this round sleeve here then you come to the sleeve mount you can some persons do like to use a what's it called elastic and some persons will use a band like this to the sleeve mount you take the measurement of the sleeve mount and get it out so it's just as easy as a and b and c so once again i'm jacques and um, and i'm delighted you're here on our channel if you've not subscribed please do subscribe like please do like like our videos follow us on facebook at central fashion school dot at central fashion school <laughs> it's our website at central fashion school dot com please never mind me so it's nice having you around till i come your way next time bye, -bye.